Hey everyone, today I'm excited to take you on a captivating journey into the US sci-fi thriller Geostorm. Directed by Dean Devlin and released in October 2017, the film stars Gerard Butler as Jake Lawson, a brilliant but troubled engineer, and Jim Sturgis as his estranged brother, Max. Geostorm revolves around a global weather catastrophe triggered by malfunctioning satellites designed to control the Earth's climate. As devastating weather events unfold across the globe, Jake Lawson is called back into action to stop the Geostorm. However, he soon discovers the malfunction might not be accidental. Critics are divided. Some are mesmerized by the jaw-dropping visuals of superpowered weather disasters. In contrast, others feel the plot can be predictable and the characters are one-dimensional. But what do you think? Every film strikes each viewer differently, and I'm eager to hear your thoughts after this recap. So, without further ado, let's dive into Geostorm. Can Jake and Max work together to save the planet before it's too late? Let's unravel the story and discover the answers together. In 2019, following a series of unprecedented natural disasters that devastated several regions worldwide, an international coalition came together to commission a groundbreaking system of climate-controlling satellites known as Dutch Boy. This sophisticated network of satellites is engineered to prevent extreme weather events by manipulating weather patterns and climatic conditions. Initially, the Dutch Boy system was placed under the control of the United States government to ensure its effective deployment and management. One of the first major tests of Dutch Boy occurs when a catastrophic typhoon threatens the city of Shanghai. Jake Lawson, the chief architect and visionary behind Dutch Boy, makes a bold decision to activate the system without prior authorization. His quick action successfully neutralizes the typhoon, preventing immense destruction and saving countless lives. However, Jake's unilateral decision to bypass protocol and act independently draws the ire of a Senate subcommittee. Despite the undeniable success of his intervention, Jake is summoned to a hearing where he faces severe reprimand for his actions. During the hearing, it becomes clear that the committee views Jake's maverick behavior as a liability. As a result, he is removed from his position and replaced by his younger brother, Max Lawson. Max who holds a significant role under Secretary of State Leonard Decombe, oversees the Dutch Boy project and ensures its operations adhere to strict protocols and international cooperation. The aftermath of this decision sees a planned handover of Dutch Boy from U.S. control to an international committee. However, this transition is abruptly suspended due to concerns over lax security protocols, which are highlighted by Jake's unauthorized actions. The suspension reflects more profound anxieties about such a powerful system's control and potential misuse and the complex political dynamics underpinning international collaboration on global security measures. Three years later, a United Nations field team stationed in Afghanistan makes a shocking discovery, a village that has been inexplicably frozen solid in the middle of one of the hottest deserts on Earth. This anomaly raises severe concerns about the integrity of the Dutch boy system. Mahmood, an Indian engineer working on the International Climate Space Station ICSS, realizes the gravity of the situation and secretly steals data from the Afghanistan satellite. Just before he can analyze the data, Mahmood meets a tragic end as he is forcibly ejected into space. However, he hides the hard disk containing the crucial data in his locker, hoping someone will find it. Max Lawson became aware of the Afghanistan incident in the United States and convinced U.S. President Andrew Palmer to investigate how Dutch Boy could have caused such an accident. Recognizing the complexity and potential global impact, Max contacted his estranged brother Jake, convincing him to travel to the ICSS and conduct a first-hand investigation. As Jake prepares for his mission, another catastrophic event unfolds. A satellite malfunctions, causing temperatures in Hong Kong to soar and resulting in a deadly fear nado that devastates parts of the city. Chung Long, Max's college friend and the head of Dutch Boys Hong Kong department, narrowly escapes the disaster. This incident further emphasizes the need for a comprehensive investigation into the malfunctioning satellites. Upon arriving at the ICSS, Jake collaborates with Station Commander Oot Fassbender and her crew to examine the satellite responsible for the Hong Kong catastrophe. During their inspection, a critical malfunction occurs, damaging the satellite and erasing all of its data, leaving Jake and the team with more questions than answers. 
On Earth, Chung Long discovers his access to the Dutch boy system has been revoked. Suspecting foul play, he urgently warns Max about a potential global cataclysm known as Geostorm if the malfunctions continue unchecked. Realizing the severity of the situation, Max delves deeper into the investigation, only to find that his login credentials have also been deliberately disabled, preventing him from accessing crucial satellite data. Determined to uncover the truth, Chung evades a team of armed mercenaries sent to silence him and manages to fly to the United States. His arrival brings critical information that sheds light on the possibility of a conspiracy within the Dutch Boy program, indicating that the satellite malfunctions might not be mere accidents, but deliberate sabotage to trigger a global disaster. As Jake continues his investigation aboard the ICSS, he discovers Mahmoud's hidden hard disk, which contains valuable data about the satellite malfunctions. This discovery becomes a pivotal piece of evidence in unraveling the conspiracy. Working against the clock, Jake, Max, and Cheng must piece together the puzzle to prevent the looming geostorm. This catastrophic event could wipe out entire cities and permanently disrupt the global climate balance. The tension escalates as they uncover more clues, leading them to suspect that someone high up in the chain of command might be orchestrating these events for their own gain. With time running out and the threat of a geostorm growing more imminent, Jake and Max must set aside their differences and work together, leveraging their combined expertise to avert a disaster of unprecedented scale. Meanwhile, President Palma faces immense pressure from the public and international community to address the escalating crises. As the Lawson brothers get closer to the truth, they realize that saving the world will require not only stopping the immediate threats, but also addressing the underlying corruption and power struggles that jeopardize the safety and stability of the Dutch Boy program. Jake and Ute, determined to uncover the truth, suit up and fly outside the ICSS to retrieve a hard drive that had been ejected into space, along with the satellite engineer Mahmoud. Their mission is perilous, navigating the void of space to recover critical data. They manage to secure the hard drive and decide to keep its existence a secret from the rest of the crew, suspecting that there might be a traitor among them. Jake and Ute examine the hard drive in the station, hoping to find clues about the malfunctions. However, they are blocked at every turn, as all user access logs on the drive have been erased. Frustrated but undeterred, Jake reports their findings to Max, emphasizing the situation's urgency. Meanwhile, the ICSS staff scramble to neutralize the malfunctioning satellites. Their only option is to deliberately knock them offline by colliding them with replacement satellites, a risky maneuver designed to prevent the satellites from triggering extreme weather scenarios collectively referred to as Zeus. As the crisis intensifies, Chung Long, still reeling from his narrow escape in Hong Kong, attempts to relay crucial information to Max. Before he can fully explain, an assailant causes a deliberate traffic accident, resulting in Chung's death. With his dying breath, Chung manages to utter the word Zeus to Max, hinting at a larger, more sinister plot. On the ICSS, they discover that a virus has systematically wiped out everyone's login access to the satellite network, effectively crippling their ability to control Dutch Boy. Jake begins to suspect that the president might be using Dutch Boy as a weapon, possibly to avoid transferring control of the system to the International Committee, thereby engineering a crisis to retain power. Jake shares his hypothesis with Max, suggesting that the only solution is to reboot the entire system. However, this drastic action requires a kill code, which the president has. Max turns to his girlfriend, Sarah, a Secret Service agent, to help him acquire the code. As the situation grows dire, Max identifies Orlando as the next target for a superstorm after witnessing Tokyo being struck by a massive hailstorm and Rio de Janeiro blanketed in ice. Desperate, Max seeks assistance from Leonard Decom to secure the kill code from the president. However, Decom reveals his true colors, attempting to kill Max and thus unveiling himself as the mastermind behind the sabotage. Max narrowly escapes Decom's attack and immediately informs Sarah about the betrayal. Knowing that Decom is the saboteur, Max and Sarah rush to stop him and prevent further chaos. He and Sarah kidnap President Palma to protect him from other compromised Secret Service members and secure the kill code. They escape from a stadium just as a lightning storm destroys it, narrowly avoiding being struck by the ferocious elements. Amidst the chaos, 
Max reveals their activities to President Palma, explaining the dire situation and the conspiracy they have uncovered. Initially shocked, the president quickly grasps the threat's gravity and agrees to cooperate fully. With the stadium crumbling around them and DECOM's mercenaries hot on their trail, Max and Sarah manage to outsmart their pursuers using quick thinking and resourcefulness. They eventually confront Leonard DECOM, revealing his grand scheme to eliminate all of America's enemies, disrupt the line of succession, and seize control of the world. DECOM's ambition is as chilling as it is grandiose, and Max and Sarah realize the full extent of the danger they are facing. Meanwhile, on board the ICSS, the team finds themselves desperate as they lose control of all operations. The virus has initiated the station's self-destruct program, leaving them helpless as disasters strike various parts of the world. Jake, piecing together the clues, realizes that software engineer Duncan is responsible for the sabotage. In a tense confrontation, Duncan panics and accidentally shoots a window, causing a breach that ejects him into space. Jake narrowly escapes the same fate and continues his mission to save the station and the world. As the crew begins to evacuate, Jake makes the difficult decision to stay behind and ensure the system reboot is completed. Max and Sarah, now with President Palma, head to Kennedy Space Center, where they receive the devastating news that the kill code cannot stop the self-destruct sequence, even though they have managed to avert the geostorm. Back on the ICSS, Jake faces another obstacle when he cannot unlock a critical door. Ute, who has also chosen to stay behind, comes to his aid, and together they manage to open the door. They work in unison to reboot the system, successfully transferring control of the satellites to NASA and thereby preventing the catastrophic geostorm. However, the self-destruct sequence is still active, and they need to find a way to survive the imminent destruction of the ICSS. Jake and Oot take shelter in a replacement satellite with seconds to spare. As the self-destruction sequence completes, they send out a distress signal. Their message is received by a nearby shuttle, which manages to reach them in time. Hernandez is among the rescue team, providing a moment of relief and camaraderie as they are safely brought back to Earth. Six months later, the world has begun to recover from the brink of disaster. Jake, now working as the head engineer for a new system of satellites, oversees the program's administration by an international committee, ensuring that such a crisis never occurs again. The new system symbolizes a renewed commitment to global cooperation and security, marking the beginning of a new era of climate control and disaster prevention. What are your thoughts on the film's story? Please share your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more captivating stories like this. See you in the next video.